Welcome to the first episode of Benched. My name is Dalton Chandler. I'm going to be your guys' host. A little background on me. I grew up in Seattle, Washington, and I just recently moved to Nashville where I met my two co-hosts. I actually met them in Alabama at Rock the South at a country music concert, and um, right away we kicked it off. We're pretty much best friends now. We live together out here in Nashville, and they're young guys. They both just left their families basically freshmen in college. I always admired the way they handled everything in life. They're very much so everybody else comes first before them. And the whole Southern hospitality is really, really impressive. And that's one of the main reasons that I wanted to have them on here and live with them. So I wrote down a couple of things for you guys, a little background on them. Starting off, Luke Bowman. Snuck by graduating high school with a 1.9 GPA, but school isn't for everyone. He's a former construction worker and a very handy man to have around the house. My other host is Fisher Perry. He's a homeschooled boy with a very strong Christian background, which is the backbone to the man he is today and a big part of how he treats people around him. He is actually an incredible athlete. He pretty much picks up every single sport and is really good at it. He should probably be playing college football somewhere right now, but I'm lucky to have him on here, and um, I'm grateful for both of them. Right in the bench with us today is a very talented young lady. She's a singer, songwriter, country music star. She actually just got off tour. She was singing in front of thousands of fans with Jelly Roll. She's an unbelievable talent, and we are honored to have her on here. Please welcome Miss Lainey Gardner. First of all, we wanted to start this thing off by separating these two. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we felt like it was necessary. Um, but anyways, I kind of wanted to jump right into it, just right off the right off the rip. We I looked you up on the internet, and <laughs> and uh, and it said you had a boyfriend, but. It was, it was someone that I didn't know, so I was like a little bit confused because I thought I thought you were. I was her. confused as well when he told me that. Who is it? Yeah, who is it? I'm not gonna name drop, but it, it said a different name than than I thought you were. Yeah, I don't know how somebody figured that out. I did not push. Have you looked that like up that. before? Yeah. Wait, did, so you know about that? Yeah, they found a picture from like, like sophomore year. Okay, because I actually saw that, and I was like, hold on a second. Yeah. Are you sure it was sophomore year? I had two of my best friends in that. Huh. Was it sophomore year? It was sophomore year of mm. college. <laughs> wait, Luke, okay, okay. wait, wait, Luke, I can't hear you very well. I'm sorry, let me bring this a little closer. Yeah, Is bring that, that thing right in your grill. I know, it's right yeah. up here now. Put your lips like on that? it. You like that? Put your lips on it. You guys want to, um, okay, we have some news to be spilled. Fisher, you want to? Uh, should we let Lenny spill it? <laughs> wait, wait, wait I thought the news is already spilled. Not I'm just going to really sit though. back, I didn't relax, know we were, and I didn't know we were spilling any news. All right, basically, Lenny Gardner doesn't want to admit it, but we're dating, whether she likes it or not. not yes. I was actually there yes, when- Yes, we are. I was- <laughs> I didn't mean that part. Hey, hey, so I was there when when Fisher asked her out. Lenny was taking a nap downstairs. This is funny. And Fisher, bro, this was, this was actually hilarious. Fisher comes up to my bathroom and he was like, he was like freaking out. He was like, he's like, he's like do I do it? You're like, do I do it? <laughs> No, no, no. It was so funny. You asked Dawn. Yeah. No, 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 no. First, Time out. That's what I don't understand it. with dudes. Times. Okay. Times. I went up to Dalton's bathroom. He's like, wait, have you already asked her out? And I was like, not yet. Because like, we wait. were talking about yeah. it. Yeah. And then I was like, wait, should I do it like right now? And he was like, yeah. I was like, well, she's sleeping. I was like, I was like that's perfect. He was like, that's perfect. Just go do it. So. So we set up the camera for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Why did we do that? <laughs> I don't wait, know. You, knew, you knew he set up the camera? I set up the camera. I'm like, I'll get the angle, right, bro? This yeah, man walks in. No, we have the video. He walks in. He's like, why is the camera set up? Fisher, why did you not want to make you it more knew special? It, you knew it was set up. Well, because I didn't want to nope, I didn't want to act like I knew. I'm not pulling well, out. Well, you some, did a good job acting. Why like didn't you, didn't you do like flowers on a nice dinner date? But you did a she was taking a nap. Because that's hilarious. <laughs> Nobody wants to listen, Lainey. Do you want me to have balloons and roses and stuff? I'm not you saying walk that. Right I'm before just saying a little that's date. weird. I'm saying a little date. I'm not saying balloons. <laughs> that was that <laughs> I just flew out to San Francisco for a concert. I had a good time there. And it was a good time. Yeah, it was a fun time. <laughs> yeah. And then we came back home and I was like, she's taking a nap. Why not do it right now? This is the day and I got off funny. tour. The very I thought day. it was cute. I, had just I, got off the plane. I was watching the whole thing. And I was what like, do you think? I, I I was fine with it. I thought it was cute. I was sitting with my feet under my butt, just sitting there like an idiot. It was cute. <laughs> No, I yeah, so dude, he was, was like, so stupid. He was like, like in the video doggy murder. position. He was just like on top of her. Like he's like <laughs> straddling Lainey. He's like tapping her. I forgot I was filming. I'm I was sitting like, around the corner and I'm looking at her and Fisher's just staring. Like he, he's just staring at her. I'm like, are they going to kiss? Is she going to say yes? Or is she? <laughs> she took 
she took probably two, like actually, like realistically, two minutes to say yes or give an answer at all. Why is that? So lady? I said, wait, that I was like, wait, 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 wait. I, I hugged you though. Yeah, I but what, just, okay, but what is the hesitation for? Well, um, it was there was no hesitation. It was just like, oh, and then I hugged him. Weren't what? you guys? Weren't you guys? I didn't hey, realize hold on, that. Hold on. I did. I thought that was a yes in my mind. Like that was my. <laughs> Not for that was my mind, yes. Dude. Can we run this thing back too? Because hold on, there was a little bit of beef. Not beef between you guys. But I feel like she was always like commenting, be like, oh, we're not dating or anything like that. Like, we're not dating. Like, why are we not? She wrote a diss track on you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wait, can we wrote wrote talk about that? I, I, we can't you talk about it, but. She did. Oh, she concrete wrote a diss track. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let me explain. Laney's got a new album. Uh, no, not an album. Sorry. I'm new to this music shit, but she's good at it. Laney's got a new uh, song coming out. The first time Fisher played it, was like riding home. He's like, dude, this song is about me. And he's just singing the whole song. And he was so no. proud. This he showed his whole family. He sh no, he had showed his whole family and everything. He <laughs> Listen like, to the story. He's like, yeah, this is about me. <laughs> and, and Mama Perry, Mama Perry was like, oh, that's he was so proud cool. of it. Dude. He was that's, proud of it. That's no, not all. And my friends. Me, yeah, okay. you explain that part. My friends, we would like uh, turn it on. My friend Gigi, she would always turn it on because she loves the song. And Fisher would just be like singing along to it. But had no idea that it was about him. And he no was just smiling the whole time. That. He's like, he's like, dang, Mustang. Like, I got a nice Mustang. He's like, this song is a banger. <laughs> and I'm like, it's about you. And but, her, hey, all of her friends would start laughing. Part. He had no idea. They would all start laughing. And I'd be sitting there like, what's so, like, why are you laughing? It's just a good song I'm singing along <laughs> to. It's Laney. It's like, whatever. It's because it's about me. Because so we all agreed. We all agreed to each other that we're like, let's let's yeah. not get into relationships. Let's not get caught up with girls right now. Let's just focus on stuff. And every single time that after hanging out with Laney, after hanging out with Laney, Fish, Fish would always be like, he goes, dude, I'm not in deep. I'm not in deep. Cause he was like trying to hide it. Like, cause he really, really liked her. He's like, I'm not in deep. Like I'm not, I'm not dating. I'm not going to date her. Don't worry. Like, like we're not freaking out. And Luke, tell the truth. Luke was not, Luke loved Laney, but you were. Oh, I was all, I was trying to talk him out of it. Like, Bro, like, come on. There's dude, so many girls single with me. fully against it. Fully against it. And the, I knew that he was into her. Cause like I would wake up. Go to the gym with Fisher, plays a song. It's one of Laney's songs. He would not stop playing her songs, dude. And I was like, bro, what is wrong with you? No, yeah, what he is was wrong so, with you? Yeah, he was so upset. I was like, bro, we are in our era right now, and you're ruining our it. Our era. <laughs> you're ruining it, bro. Yeah, and then I feel like you but, didn't, I feel like you didn't know how to go about it. This is the first it. time I'm hearing all of this. No, no yeah, I know. That's so actually funny. Your songs were on nonstop. That's why I know all of them. I mean, seriously. Yeah, we know every We'd be going ever to ever the heard. gym and Fisher would be listen, like, John, listening. Like, listen to a gun. Yeah. That's what he's, he thought let's it was. Explain. Wait, we didn't no, he thought concrete. it was. No, the best part of it was. He was like, he's like, he was like trying to like, again, like talk about like hinting at dating Laney. And he'd be like, do you think people would be like, make, make fun of me? Like, if I was dating Laney because she's like way cooler than me and she's like a singer. Like, and I'm just like this TikTok weirdo. Not, yeah, that's true. what you what? called yourself. Yeah. He, that's actually, he was, that's like one of the because things like, that he was scared about with you. He that thought, was one thing. Because fish are soft <laughs> and you're kind of a badass. That's what we're getting oh, at here. No. Because yeah. you do TikTok too. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's talk about dude, Luke's love life. Like, we I'm all way were. better at playing the field than you are, dude. Than me? Yeah. True. Yeah. You better at playing the field than me? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I went to, I went to college. I went to call I don't want to play the field anymore. I don't I don't really feel a need that, to play that's, the field. that's fair. That's fair. True. You, you I, I was always you, telling you. I want to see you in your prime versus me in my prime. Well, I don't want to be good at that. I want to be good at like other things. I used to be really, really good at like, you know, playing the field, hanging out with a bunch of girls. I, people I'm that don't know, what, if you don't know what playing the field is, playing the field means like, or, what is it? What is it? Well, mean? basically what it is, playing the field is like a term of like, you meet a girl and then you're looking for the next best thing, basically. So you're always like talking to new girls, just hanging out, trying to see who you vibe it's with. Always on the well, Isn't next. that yeah. everybody's, you know what I mean? I mean, like, yeah, that's like, it's like a single, it's a state of being single. Until, I mean, until you yeah. find a girl that you really like. like what's yeah. happened to me? Like, yeah. 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 I found a girl that is like, and I was planning on playing the field for another probably year, but whenever a girl like walks into your life and you're like, oh my gosh, like if I see her with another guy, it's going to be mad. So I want to make that mine. So I, I had a question that, that I was actually curious about. Um, with the whole with the whole dreams thing, right? So mm -hmm. so you had a hundred million views over like basically overnight, right? Mm, yeah. Within like a couple weeks. Okay, within a couple weeks, a hundred million views. And what did you have pre before that? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. So like do, was there like a feeling of you have to continue to produce? Like all of a sudden, like you have overnight like crazy success. And then would that like stress you out? Or how how did you how did you go about that without feeling like um now I need to do that again. Mm -hmm. Now I need to do that again. 
Like, what was that feeling for you? I think it was m more of like, because I kind of got launched into the business part of the music industry. I didn't really get to sit and like actually appreciate what I had done. And what do you, what do you mean? About, what do you mean launched into the business? What does that mean? Just like I immediately record labels started reaching out managers, um, just like team building, like everything like that. Like I didn't really get to think about what do I want to say next to the world? Like, which is my entire, you know, goal with my music is just to be able to like speak messages and, um, be able to, to change the world with something that I can say. I think that's what God put me on the earth to do. And so I didn't really get to, to bask in that and actually think about those things. All I was thinking about is, you know, do I need to sign to a record label? Where do I need to go next with like management and like talent agents and everything like that? Like I, you know, mm -hmm. I think that's probably what was kind of stolen from me with the kind of guidance I was under during that time. Mm -hmm. And, um, I don't know. I, I, that was, I didn't really feel much. I, th I, I think I, before I processed it as, Oh, I'm not just processing the fact that like fame and, and, you know, my, I'm actually getting out to people and that, that wasn't on my mind. I wasn't processing that. It was literally just cause I didn't have time to process my actual want to like cause <laughs> what was that did they get that noise was that a fart <laughs> no i had to burp but i didn't burp uh, that can, we not address, can we, can we address, it? address it but that was not a tick that was not a tick. fisher address it address it i have anxiety ticks sometimes and i sometimes make really weird noises that's not what that was that is not what that was that was actually i had to burp but i tried to hold it in <laughs> <laughs> Go on, Lanny Gardner. But yeah, that's that. Yeah, so, I'm just so, gonna so ramble you, about so, it. So you didn't explain myself. Yeah, so you didn't feel like an, um, you didn't get anxious about like continuing to like impress because obviously like a hundred mm. million views at that time like like is ridiculous. But so, your like, next and videos, it's on YouTube. Your next videos after that all had millions. Too. Yeah, I had like older videos that yeah. had gained views, and which one of them was Purple Clouds, which is something my. I wrote by myself, like, a, like next to a graveyard somewhere. It was kind of scary, but, um, yeah, like that one, that one got a lot of views. Cry me a river got me a lot of views. I had written all of those before all of this. And so they were definitely like my perspective on things rather than like writing with other people. Cause sometimes that can get skewed mm -hmm. with like, how do you say that guy's name? David. David Guetta. Devagetta. Devagetta. <laughs> Devagetta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you get connected with him? Because that song is so fire. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's on my gym playlist. I'm not even gonna lie. Apparently and it's, it's like a gym song now. It's become like a gym yes. song. I'll be in the gym bumping <clears throat> and I'm like, this is kind of weird, but I try to imagine it's not you just because you're dating him. But it's so fire. <laughs> Wait, hold on. How'd you get connected with him? He just DM'd me. What? Just, I, I don't know where. Yeah. Tried to raise yeah. you up in the DM. No, he was just like. Hey, I got a really cool idea. You know, we need to act fast on it is this. So sick. That's it's like, wrong. you know, do you want to be part of it? And I was like, duh. You know, it's David Guetta. And so I sent over my vocals to him. And it was vocals that I literally like recorded like in my room during the video, which I thought was, was gonna crazy. be a problem because, you know, I don't know how to professionally like record yeah. certain things, but it worked. So <clears throat> all right, we're back. We had a little little halftime intermission you know that little quickie mid game mm, you know <laughs> what i'm talking about we did not do a quickie bro yeah Come we on. did no we didn't laney and fisher did <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't lie don't lie did you no they made out no. they made out i saw them making out come on where where y'all are gone you know i saw it all right don't, are... don't, don't need a new charger for his phone where i mean his computer you're itching Sorry. your pants? I didn't itch my I pants. I a sniff? Oh. Yeah, so we're talking about Miranda Lambert, but we can talk about whatever now. Wow, that's very good memory on yeah. Luke. I got a question for all of us, actually, because we're all, you know, in the social media industry. Um, actually, let's start with Lenny. Um, Everyone's talking so sexual in these mics, and it's yeah, kind of crazy. No, it's because... <laughs> I'm not trying to talk like sexual, ASMR. but that's crazy because and, uh, you just were feeling my, my, uh, my question. Um, you so, shut the hell up. So, hey... <laughs> So if you, if you were offered, let's say, let's, let's, let's say you were offered $5 million a year to do OnlyFans for the, for the year, three year contract, $5 million each year. Would you do it? No. 
Really? No. $5 million? Mm -mm. I don't care how much it was. How come? Because I can make that much singing. All right. Five million. Oh, sucks. I don't know. Can you sing for us right now? No. You Come cannot. On. Rip it. You cannot. Rip it. I'll be damned to somebody going to buckle money. <laughs> I'll be, I'll, I'll turn in, I'm, I'm about to turn lanes on. Lanes. I'm not going to lie. Lanes is my rapper name. You cannot name. put I a did. price tag on OnlyFans. Like, there's no amount of money I would ever do it for. Yeah. So you're not, are you just not hung Absolutely. like that? So you wouldn't either. Are, are you just not hung like that? Or Dude, I'm, I'm ready to go. But what I'm saying is like, <laughs> I'm not going to completely sacrifice my life and my, my, Persona on the internet yeah. for money. Yeah, yeah. Like, even no even shot. if I couldn't no sing, I, I wouldn't do it. I'm not, and also like being a Christian, I'm not going to put myself out there in that way. No, absolutely not. Mm -mm. Couldn't yeah. pay me to do that. Yeah, me too. No price tag. Same here. Thanks for <laughs> that. Your did input. not sound. <laughs> Thanks for your input, dude. You spoke <laughs> Just so everyone knows, Fisher Perry will not be doing that. Hey, I will not. To bring this up to um, whenever we were getting ready for set. I actually saw Lanny putting makeup on one of Fisher's pimples. Yeah, because listen. what is that? <laughs> oh, Luke. Oh, oh no, let's let's, let's 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 have this that conversation. Is so then. soft. That's so oh, for, well. Let's first of all, about first of all, I didn't wait. I didn't put you. makeup. You got shit on your neck too, bro. <laughs> I don't know nothing, bro. What are you talking about? That's why. Because Where I didn't I didn't put the thing. I didn't put makeup on Fisher. I put like a little primer oh, to like primer? take care of the the poor stuff, so it just blurred it out. But you, I let my. I had to rip. put concealer on you. For what? No, we wanted to say why. What? Concealer here. Dracula Primer. got Luke's neck, and and he has a little no, coverage. Dude. Okay, sometimes. <laughs> no, that's not what happened, man. I think I had the, a little lifting accident. A lifting accident yeah, that doing, got you back on the side of the neck. On the side of the neck, I was doing the. Uh, no one you were doing dude. the dirty in the bathroom, and no you got no, that. No, 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 no one was there to nothing. spot him. You I know, I don't do the dirty, bro. So Luke was half strangled. Yeah. While he was pumping some iron. Yeah, it was a lifting accident. And I, it looks like a hickey, so I had to cover it up. It's mm, crazy. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. That's what happened. I just had a pimple I wanted to be covered. I was doing my <laughs> rear delts, and the cable came and got me on my neck. <clears throat> That's what happened. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm serious. The silence is really loud right there. Luke. Don't I hear that fart? No. Oh, I forgot. Was that you? That's on you. Yeah, did you actually fart? Yeah. What's wrong with you, bro? Let's run him back. I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, speak, <laughs> this one, dude. Farting, bro. Uh, Do you guys it. fart in front of each other? Has Lanny farted oh, in front of you? Lanny doesn't fart. I fart. I rip it. I can't. You don't do that. fart, Lanny? No, girls don't fart. Come on, just give us one. No, girls don't <laughs> fart or or defecate. I wonder if I told you I'd, 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 I'd pay you a bunch of money to put that microphone down there. Oh my gosh! Uh, well, dude, I would, I would lose weird, out on money. Bro, what's happening? I said no, it was a don't for do a that. fart, dude. That is but so girls strange. don't do that. Am I being weird? Sorry. Okay, the, maybe the boys can relate. I know Fisher can. We've talked about this, but I freaking hate hanging out with girls for multiple days. I don't hate it. I love hanging out with girls for multiple days, <laughs> but my stomach hurts so bad because I can't fart in front of them. So I have to be like, oh, I gotta go get some gum out of my truck. I'm just out there ripping farts, dude. <laughs> Luke I cannot, was, Luke yeah, was dude. talking. I cannot, bro. I wake up, I have to shit so bad. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I can't take a dump right here next to her. So I just hold it in there like a boss. I just hold it in. I'm just, oh, you dude. know, you know, I don't, I don't think a lot of girls like hear guys doing this. Obviously, like girls would do this. Like they'll be like, hey, like can we go to the gas station? I need to get a raid. Or something. Oh. And then they'll be like, oh, I'm going to go use the bathroom while we're here. Oh, is that what they do? Is that where girls get it out? I mean, if you're, if you're with them, like, for a, a couple of days. So yeah. I just, yeah. I, see, like, that's where you got to set the tone, No, man. you can't set you gotta, the tone. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we went to, a, we went to a Rock, not Rock South, was it, what was that, Auburn Rodeo? And you didn't poop the whole weekend. I pooped once, <laughs> twice. Maybe. No, 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 no. Okay, you okay. told us you didn't I'm not going to lie. I have a really, really <laughs> weird, like, fear and anxiety coming around, like, pooping. Like I, I can't, huh? And peeing. Not pissing. necessarily peeing anymore. Peeing, pissing. But like, I cannot poop in front. Like, I have to be like comfortable in my house, in my own bathroom for me to actually get it all out. <laughs> because I cannot be around girls, especially. I'm getting better around guys, but around girls. <laughs> <laughs> around girls, around girls, I cannot poop, dude. I can't do it. It makes me like anxious. It makes me like, oh, uh, I don't know if she can hear me absolutely Your sphincter ripping. just gets all tight and it shit? Gets, yeah, my buttholes, dude, the size of a penny, bro. It will not come out. So uh, what I we need do to do but, is normalize defecation. I, when I was in first grade, I pooped my pants in class. Everybody was like saying, he smells like poop. He smells like poop. Ever since then, ever since then, I've been wiping, dude. 
I wipe almost till it bleeds, dude. Not even gonna lie. I wipe till it bleeds. I'm like, I will never smell like poop ever again. If we really want to bring it up, I will say We're gonna it, you wanna tell the pencil story right yeah, now? Yeah, I'll tell it. Okay. I don't care, bro. So when I was in first grade, I was kind of a well, it was more than first grade. It was elementary school. I was kind of a weirder kid. I pooped myself twice. That's what I was known for, actually. And I had no idea what I was doing. I was just kind of hanging out in fifth grade. Poopy Lukey. And yeah, I was sitting in the back of my fifth grade class. I'll leave the name out of the teacher because it doesn't really. You got to say it. That adds yeah, it. Yeah. I was in the back of my second <laughs> class and I was sitting next to this guy <laughs> named Holden, actually. Poor guy. And <clears throat> I didn't know exactly what was happening, but I kind of took my pencil and it wasn't like on like any perverted stuff. I was just kind of messing around uh, with the pencil down there. and. I'm not going to lie. I didn't know what was going on. I thought I was tickling myself and I actually was doing something pretty messed up in the back of class there. And I actually came <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't like anything sexual. I just thought I was tickling myself. I didn't know what it was. But dude. you're like, dang, this kind of feels good. Yeah. And then I'm not going to lie. I, I thought I was just like tickling myself. I thought I was the only person in the world that knew about it. So I thought, I was, oh my gosh, I have special, special powers. But like tickling myself, but it felt kind of good. So I did it a couple more times in class. It's nuts. I also did it pretty much anywhere. Cause, and then I ended up actually, I actually ended up having to talk with my dad about it. Cause I felt bad about it. I didn't know why I was like, dad, I've been tickling myself. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, son. And then he gave me the talk. And then I realized how messed up that actually was what I was doing. How old were you? I, fifth grade. I would have been what? Nine. Damn. Yeah. Fifth grade. Nine. And Your I'm sorry to anybody in my fifth grade class. You're probably 11. Huh? Yeah, maybe even older. Mm. I don't know. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> You're like 18. I didn't know what was happening, dude. I didn't. Hey, you, would also, you would also do it in the, the swimming pools. Yeah. With the swim shorts. Well, I didn't know what I was doing, mm. man. He would do it in the swimming pool. Like, he would be. Mm, yeah. Know, I, don't, I, don't. I would just kind of move around. And it's so fascinating. He was, he, 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 sometimes just, I would move around and sometimes I would, it would just happen. And I didn't know what it was and I felt bad. And and I didn't even know you were supposed to be thinking about anything sexual when you did it. I just thought I was thinking of myself. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, dude. I don't regret it. <laughs> might have to clip that. Cut that out. <laughs> it's, so, it's so fascinating. I do regret it because somebody, somebody from my fifth grade is watching this right now. And they're like, was he really doing that? So there? that's what was going on. I'd explain See, I can't even remember. That's why he was yeah. making such a weird face. Yeah. That does explain the 1-9 GPA. That day before yeah. our math test. Yeah, I'm so it. excited for double dates. Seriously. Yeah, this could be awesome. None uh, of my friends are really like dating anyone. Dalton can be at home holding his penis in his hand. We'll be out having a good time. No. <laughs> I, I, no. At the little arcade bar. That no, she's actually fun. she's actually awesome. Like, because like I was saying earlier, dude, I didn't want to miss out on something really good because I wanted to go and mess around with a bunch of other people. Like, you can't miss out on that, dude. Like, this I'm not, is, I'm not gonna do that. This is just proof of if he wants to, he would. Mm -hmm. and That's I what I'm saying to, to all golly. females right now. If he wants to, he would. Mm -hmm. to, he would. Well, I can't I figure out. If, I don't want. Anybody. He will though. Yeah. He will though. If he wants yeah. to, That's he what will. Girls say that about. Anything though, it could be the most outrageous task if you wanted to. Like would. what? I don't know. I just see it on it's everything. It's facts though. Is it though? Yeah, hundred percent. If if because if I wanted to, I would. Like if I wanted to talk to a girl, I would yeah. at least shoot my shot and like settle like, down do for think, one girl. Absolutely. Like, what do you think? I'm just gonna sit here and um, you know, tickle myself with a pencil? Like, <laughs> well, what's, no. What's, what's, wait, <laughs> like, wait, no. wait, wait. What's <laughs> tickle myself with a pencil? What What's your take on it, Fisher? On what? Will you disagree? I no, y'all just y'all put the it'll be just like something crazy, like uh I can't even think of anything. If he wants to drive fifty hours, it'll be like that. Me. Like, you know, yeah, you can't afford a plane flight, but he could drive twenty four hours to come see me if you wanted to. What I would, say stuff like that. No, if I really no that's that's extreme. No, but that's just extreme. It's so <laughs> clear to me though, like whenever you actually want to date a girl, it's so evident that you want to date her. <laughs> yeah. Like there should be no if, ands, or buts. Just be like, I can't imagine myself without her. I'm gonna lock her down. Yeah. That's what I feel about this girl. That's why I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I don't care. How many dates have you been on with her? Enough. How many? Uh well we went on Before? we went on a nice date dude I took her to a steakhouse and then um then I met her parents 
Uh, dude, I'm quick with it, dude. You better watch out. I'm quick with it. After mm-hmm. this first steak dinner, I'm already talking to her dad. That's what I'm saying. It happens met, so quick. Yeah, Whenever does. guys are locked in, it happens so quick. It does because they're not. I messing want it around. to happen quick with me, man. Yeah, I'm mean, not messing around. Actually, I don't really care. There's no, there's no waiting game. It's like, I'm oh, a, give it mm-hmm. time. No. Everybody no watched the past 25 TikToks in a row of Dalton Chandler. See what he talks about. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it about? So, uh, so uh, I don't have a girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah, well, <laughs> for it was for pa- it was for a paid promotion, and that that I was supposed to take somebody on a date. More than that, though, every get ready with me mentions girlfriend. Get ready with me to go on a date night, not with a girlfriend. I don't have one. It's of those. fine though. It's working <laughs> for you. Obviously, funny. you're it's you're, funny. You're, yeah. Hey, man, don't be soft about you're it. Man. I was just about to come it. back at you guys with you're some You guys got to rip it on. Hey, lay it on me. <laughs> now, he, Fisher tries to give me his hand, like he I thinks I like I'm. I don't feel bad at all, dude. You think? Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't want you to feel bad. I don't care. I mean, dude, you just mentioned girlfriends a lot in your videos, which it's fun. I can't hate on you. You're crushing it, but it's still kind of funny. I mean, your content is better than mine. I will say, I, I, and mine. I, I just bang thirst traps. You actually put some effort into it. I just, dude, I just touch my ceiling and call it a day, man. Yeah, I will say, well, like I watching do. Dalton's um, TikToks, it inspires me to like. Get actually put effort and like mm-hmm. clean my room yeah. and make my bed and like it's stuff that we all should be doing because like for psychological reasons like I, scientists talk about it like there's something about making your bed every morning that like you accomplish one thing so mm-hmm. early in the day you want to accomplish more things yep. so i will say you know, i will fine. say your your posts you are inspirational content. he'll clean his room a hundred times for a video mm-hmm. and he won't clean the kitchen once for it <laughs> That's not true. Well, no, it's not true that I won't clean my room a hundred times. If you want to make a banger video video tomorrow, Vitter. shut up, dude. If you want to make a banger video, just clean the kitchen tomorrow and video it, man. That would be a banger. You should do it deep clean, dude. Right in the kitchen. Luke sink. trying to manipulate Dalton into like cleaning the kitchen. Should we tell him our little we, our little game plan we have? Yeah, man. Me and, Fisher, Dalton. me and Fisher made an, made an agreement. Every single time we use a dish, we're to wash it and put it up and see how many dishes Dalton can accumulate into the kitchen. And how messy there's probably is. like six cups in there. Doubt it. Doubt it. There's like six. It. There's like six cups, and your Nutella is on the knife. Dude, I don't eat I, Nutella. I don't. I don't scoop out my Nutella with a with a knife, dude. I do the plastic stuff. D- didn't we agree that was? Isaiah? You gotta check my phone, dude. I we got three know. million chicks in here Snapchatting me right now. Doubt it, dude. Oh, let's talk. You are in the dustpan. You are the dustpan. I. Uh, intentionally you are I don't, I don't need a good i don't need a gajillion girls to, to be talking to that's what every guy that says, gets no chick says man good people who are wanting to go into relationships if you are focusing on yourself those people will come to you yeah. but if it's people who are doing the same thing that you're doing they're going to come to you regardless of what yeah. you're doing so what you. hey what would you what advice would you give for me like what am i doing right now like because i don't i don't have anything what's Dalton doing wrong you're about to hit the lottery i can tell you that much you think so oh yeah yeah you're about to hit the lottery because you're not messing around. Dude, I'm a... due for a wife, bro. I'm due. You're like, due. You're getting uh, old, you're getting too, old. Man. You're getting some wrinkles under the eyes. <laughs> yeah, this couch right here is getting old. Yeah, dude, you're old, <laughs> old, old, man. Y'all should be having hey, kids by now. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. We're just grown up. 24 is way too young, especially if you have like a career. I'm not even kidding. 24 was like for. always my age when I was like thinking that's when I want to have my first kid. Yeah. I was about to pop one out. I've always said year, I've man. always said thirty. I've always said thirty. Be I, old I don't so want to be yeah. play old. with your kids. I don't want to be skiing like at like seventy that. years old. And my kid's ten years old, and I'm just sitting there like a <laughs> seventy to ten. Would you rather? Would you rather? Dead. Would you rather do right, that? Like, would you rather 70. do that, or would you rather have kids and and provide like an insanely good life for your kids, like after you are very successful and have your whole life set out for yourself, where it's like, all right, now when I add somebody into my life, then it's like I'm I'm a plus for them, like. They're they're an addition, like where it's like they are becoming better. Like I get to provide this life for my kids instead of having kids at a young age and maybe not because I mean, realistically, if you were to have a kid within the next year, even two years, three years from now, you would be nowhere near where you're ready for like that. Three years I'll be ready. Okay. Well, you can think that. Dude, honestly, three, three, three years will go by quick. I see what you're saying. Like you want to be in a position yeah. where you can like <laughs> give them the world. You want to be in a position where you can give them everything. But like oh for me at least, I value family over any Anything. any sort of wealth because like yeah. I could be making 50 grand a year barely making it by but if I get to come home to a beautiful wife and a happy kids and a family that's going to be way more fulfilling than having a million dollars from yeah. a bank account that's just how I, I wasn't I wasn't talking about yeah. the yeah, yeah. I was talking huh? about I almost got chills from that I was just talking about oh, thanks man I was just talking about being able to like provide for your like your for your family yeah which is really important like you shouldn't be having kids if you're out here smoking weed and screwing off and stuff but yeah. like if you have a good job and you're making 
good money and you feel like, Hey, I think it might be time. Like my brother, he's crushing it, but he's like, I don't know how much he's making necessarily. He's not a millionaire, but he has got the cutest family ever. And that man works so hard and yeah. like to see what he's built off of what he was given. It's inspiring. And he's so yeah. happy with his family. That's just how I am. Yeah. I, I mean, think it also depends on like where you are in your life, like what place, like right now I'm trying to build a career. Like mm -hmm. I'm so early in my career Yeah. and whenever I have a family, like I want to be able to give all of my attention to them, <laughs> like, and not yeah. try to force it either. Like, I don't want to have to force myself to have attention to my family. I also don't want to have to force myself to have attention towards my career. So like, I don't want to even want to put myself in that position where I have to choose between my career and my family. Cause like, I mean, you don't know. Absolutely. I don't know. True. You got any Fisher, you got any questions? <sighs> I'm convinced me and Fisher have the same size wiener. <laughs> I just am. We're just so alike in every aspect. We are really alike. Yeah. So would you say being a uh okay, so as a female, as a female singer. How much would you say being a pretty, beautiful, like uh, looking the part has to do with? Hey, what Fisher compliment her, okay? I was, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I pal. Wasn't, no, if you it's watch fine it, pal. now. It's fine it's right fine now. It's fine right now because we're on the podcast. But never again, man. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying for in general. <laughs> in 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 general, in general, like how much would you say that affects like being uh, having a career in singing? I think like a lot of society right now coming from TikTok and, and probably, you know, generations before us, but um, beauty has always been like a, a standard of fame and, you know, what, what makes you famous and, and stuff like that. And I don't know, I, f I feel like we're working away from it now um, just because people do care about what people are singing about rather than how they look. Mm hmm. Um, it's definitely an advantage. You know, you have like the Justin Bieber's of the world mm -hmm. and like the Jesse McCartney and the One Direction and, you know, Ariana Grande. Lady and, like, Wilson. But <laughs> she's got a thunder truck on her. Back in Gosh, damn. It makes you want to <laughs> pitch a tent in that thing, dude. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. But like, I don't know. Like, I, you know, I, everyone says that Lainey Wilson made it off of because her butt was so big. But I think, I, think, I, think it, I think it's because I, th I think it's because she had she has good music she and does. like she, she has does. she has beautiful messages in her music and like it makes people want to dance and it makes people want to you know think about things differently and like she she yeah but, but boosts but, women and like she, she does a lot she, she I don't know you know I like, agree but the reason that I asked that question was because I saw her on a podcast with Theo Vaughn and they were talking about how um it's like she was doing good like she was singing well and then all of a sudden her rumpus came out. And it was an explosion. And then, and she was talking about how she sings about all those things that you were just talking about. Mm -hmm. And she was, she, she looked at it in a way where it's, all right, if this is going to bring more people to my music and they're going to listen to what I have to say and what mm -hmm. I'm singing about and all the things that you were just talking about yeah. there, just like you were like, that was great. And that's what she said. Like, that is why she, you know, I mean, she's just up, up on stage and if people like the way she looks and that helps her bring people to what her message is. Yep. So then she's it. totally yeah she's totally okay yeah. with it that's why yeah. i think that that's just some, like a first impression that's not mm -hmm. what holds a fan like oh, and, no. and that's yeah. and that's just with with anything in like the creative industry you have a first impression where somebody's like really attractive and they're like hey i want to follow them because they're hot and then you actually start listening to their music and actually start taking mm, that's what's from so hard about being so i i agree i i, I completely agree it's, that's, that's why i feel saying. like it's challenging being a female singer I mean, being a female in general is, I mean, that can be challenging because like a lot of the super successful females in the world right now are also extremely beautiful women too, which is like, which is weird to say. And I don't like like saying that, but like, if you look at it from an outside perspective, like it's kind of like that these days, it's, yeah. it's mm -hmm. all of, all of the top singers and stuff like that are all beautiful, but you know, it's everybody's with, beautiful it's with dudes in their own too, ways. though i mean it's with dudes too like i was saying mm. justin bieber jesse mccartney but like not a, it's not it's not that's, as that's much what, it's not as much i don't know like as as a girl like you know there's there's singers out there where i'm like wow he's hot and then 
like I listen to their music afterwards. You know, yeah. you like it's it's, it's eye candy. Like what pictures. catches your eye? Yeah, and then he's like, "Fine, I'll just take this guy." Yeah. Not saying that's the <laughs> only way someone's. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. I'm not saying like that's the only thing that catches me for someone's music. But you know, that's that's definitely something that it's all artists I feel like have yeah. to deal with. Social, but like I mean, I mean, what's his name? Who's that comedian? That that that's a super Matt Rife. Yeah, Matt Rife. Yeah. Like that. That's how he made his career mm-hmm. off of being a good looking dude. I mean, people make careers off of being good looking people obviously like that's that's something that is a is a big thing these days especially with all the phones and stuff and everybody's always looking at you and judging you and all of a sudden if you don't have something to make fun of or judge what else do you do then you go to their their comedy and they have good comedy or they're a good singer it's like okay now i'm a fan i think we've uh pretty much had all we wanted to talk about um but if if we do if we do want to talk about more things we'll have you back on here uh you were a pleasure to have on we i I really do appreciate you coming on. Um, it's not easy to come on a podcast and talk, as we know. Um, it can be nerve wracking, but we do we do appreciate you a lot. And um, you guys, got anything else? I mean, I think we're I really appreciate you, Lainey Gardner, for coming on this podcast. Thanks, Mister. Mm-hmm. That was really cute. But oh, anyway, y'all have a good one. We love you guys so much. The Bench Boys plus Miss Gardner out. <laughs>